after the Ark of the Covenant had been recovered from the Philistines who had taken it away, David was carrying it with his people back to the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the capital city of Israel. And as they processed, as we read in the reading, they sang and they shouted with joy. The Ark of the Covenant was symbolic of the presence of God with them, a very sacred place. And so when they carried the Ark of the Covenant, they did it acknowledging that it was the Lord's presence. And notice that David was so caught up in an ecstasy that he even danced before the Ark of the Covenant. It was a truly a celebration, a very joyful celebration that the Ark was returned and now taken to Jerusalem. A celebration um, so often takes part. There's always music, isn't there? Because it's a joyful thing. We don't just say happy birthday on a birthday celebration. We sing happy birthday to people because it's a joyful celebration. And a celebration always is not just one person. It's a group of people. A group of people come together to celebrate and give thanks for some occasion. This is what David was doing here with the Ark of the Covenant and praying before the Lord. And it's what we do at the Mass. We come together as a group of people to celebrate with joy the fact that Jesus Christ has given us his own body and blood, something that these people in the Old Testament could never have imagined. You and I have that reality with us, the real presence of Christ in the Holy Eucharist. And so we celebrate it with joy. And we acknowledge the fact, as we read in the Gospel, where Jesus says, whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. It's important for us to remember that, that we are all sisters and brothers in Christ. We all partake in the celebration of the body and blood of Jesus. And as his body and blood becomes one with us, we become one with each other at the same time. And so it's a joyful celebration always. It's very quiet this morning, just a few of us. And yet it's a joyful celebration that God is with us here in this church. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.